Hey people, it's Larry again. Looks like we may have finally come up with a, a solid design for the G Towers here. And that was, like I said in the previous video, uh, increasing that slot to uh, two inches wide in order to provide room to get these uh, Jiffy peat pellet uh, plant starters into, which as you can see, they fit in there just right. They pretty much take up the entire area and it also allows for the one and a half inch uh, Rockwell plugs to be inserted with absolutely no compression at all. So that leaves as much air space inside there for the roots, which guarantees healthier plants. Uh, which might explain why I have some stunted growth over here on these. This is my first tower where the opening was one and a half inches across and I kind of had to squash the Rockwell plugs to get them in there. So things are taking off slowly. This is odd. Oh, I know what that is. That's a... <laughs> I accidentally spilled my... Uh, lemon balm seeds and one landed in there. That's interesting. Um, on this one over here that I made last week where the slots were one and three quarter inch, I planted basil in here and as you can see we're getting some germination already. I think, yep. Pretty much on all of them. Haven't fully planted this one yet. The Rockwell plugs are still just sitting in here uh, rinsing because uh, even though they're uh, Grodan A-OK -okay Rockwell plugs uh, in the manufacturing process there is a little bit of leftover lime dust in there that you need to get washed out so it doesn't freak out your plants you know so they'll grow healthy. Um, the other change that I made here is the water feed actually goes in the front now. The T connector is still on there, but having that tube going in the front allows you to move the tube in and out and twist it in order to get the best uh, saturation throughout the tower as possible. So it seems to be a way better plan. I modified the other two towers to do the same thing. Just seems to be a better way to get the water right where you need it. So now that this is done, ooh, see that? Got a fungus gnat flying around in here, little bastard. Uh, at any rate, a friend of mine and myself are using a Linux program called Blender. It's a 3D modeling program similar to SolidWorks and we are currently developing uh, the machine that will automatically make these towers out of any 4 inch ASTM D2729 PVC drain tubing. Uh, basically the tubing is just going to feed in there on a track. We're actually attached to a, a sled that's on a track so it'll feed it in there and rotate it left and right and make the planters in the tower for us. Um, Unfortunately, it's probably still going to take about 20 minutes per tower to make one, but hey, uh, that's a lot better than an hour and 45 minutes per tower if you make them by hand. And it's going to be controlled by an Arduino Mega because we need that many I.O. ports on there for the sensors to de determine where the tower is in the machine. But that's going to be the next step, and that's what we're currently working on now, but it's safe to say that we have a, a solid design plan here for the, the tower and the measurements and all that. And on a side note, it appears that this week was definitely the week for <laughs> the self-appointed internet thought police to invade my channel. Uh, had one guy felt the need to come on my channel and tell me I need to change my tone, be a little more civilized. I'm going, really? I got three word or three letters for you. They're a BFD and they don't stand for a big furniture deal either. 
uh, had another guy come on saying that I needed to give credit where credit is due because Gunnar Schaefer really didn't design these. I'm going, you know, it isn't my job to do research on the origins of this stuff. I'm going off of Gunnar Schaefer's improvement upon whatever design this guy thinks he, he stole his from, and therefore it is Gunnar's design. My design is going to be an improvement on Gunner's design. Get over it, people. <laughs> if you don't like something that you're watching on YouTube, there's a real easy solution. You just find a different video to pay attention to and uh, quit trying to assert your opinions and force them upon everybody else and think the world has to run your way because, you know what, it's a really sad reality. It doesn't work that way. So that's about all I got for this week. I think from here on out I'm just going to manually build the remainder of the towers to replace the V towers because yeah they might be good for growing green onions but you know this is a lot easier to plant. You just stick a plug in there and walk away. No need to take the tower down off the wall and fish your other plants out and shove new ones in there. This is just a whole lot easier. So, that's all. We'll see you the next time around. Maybe I'll have that video for <laughs> my plumbing out here done that everyone keeps bugging me about. Maybe. Talk to you later. Bye.